This is Twit. So what is this? This is, what, according to Razer, the smallest 15.8-inch gaming laptop made. Now, there are a lot of caveats on Gaming, shmaming. This is just a cool-looking This notebook. is a nice laptop. And at the price that they're offering, I think it's a powerhouse for a fairly good price. But, man, does it look good. This is the Razer Blade 15.6 inches. A lot of times with gaming laptops, it looks like a 56 Chevy. You've got <laughs> fins. You've got blowers. You've, it's a it's, couple inches thick normally. It's heavy. This is, I mean, we're running the latest Coffee Lake i7 out of here, an eighth generation, with six cores, 12 threads, 2.2 gigahertz, uh, one gigahertz, um, I mean, 4.1 gigahertz uh, all the way up. Oh, oh, <laughs> this is not a touch screen. So they have a couple of different screens available. This is the gaming screen, a 1080p okay. full HD non-touch screen. The, the theory being a gamer doesn't care about touch. A gamer is probably not caring too much about uh resolution because you don't want to turn it up to 4k everything will slow down and they offer this at 60 hertz and 144 hertz that's really for different cool. options there's a super high frame rate version so if you're a serious gamer i don't even log just in desktop in work and i keep touching the screen <laughs> there's something wrong with me would you would you how does this mouse thing work all right so, <laughs> this touch I'm, touching, right there. I'm touching the screen nothing's happening nothing's happening rgb keyboard uh, yeah, oh, I love that. But this is Razer's known for this. But what I really like is you've got a very high end processor. Uh, this also has a discrete GPU. Um, you have your choice between a GeForce GTX 1060 or what we have in here, which is the 1070. Nice. I'm going to start running Bioshock I Infinite. It might take me a little time to get that going. Uh, There's also 16 or 32 gigs of DDR4 RAM. They chose the RAM that oh, is uh, fantastic. Yeah, a little faster, but it uses a little bit more juice. Okay. Battery life is not bad on this, but it's not going to be uh, all-day battery life. You're talking three, four, five hours, depending on what you're doing. You're typically going to plug this in if you're doing any kind of serious gaming anyway to get the max performance Absolutely. and cooling out Most of it. Most of the time, you're going to plug it in. I always look for laptops with Type-C charging, but you can't do that on this. This is a 200-watt charger. Type-C tops off. Yeah, Type-C chops off at uh, at 100 watts. So Bring the power. You're going to need the juice. And that's so you can play the game and not drain the battery while you're playing the game. You Gorgeous stereo keep speakers. Keep plugged in. Right next to the keypad on each side. Speakers are pretty decent. Uh, as you said, it has the RGB keyboard, although they say for better battery life, pick a color and stick with it. But it will yeah. rotate through the colors. And this has a weird feature that gamers will understand called it's an anti-ghosting keyboard. That means you can do five key macros without losing any keys. Perfect. Uh, not something I do, but apparently gamers like to do this. I think the extruded aluminum, actually no, it's CNC milled from a single piece Isn't of that billet nice? for the aluminum chassis. On and this. of it's, course, it's not plastic. They're going almost bezel-less. So you get a <sighs> lot of screen in a fairly compact Thing. This is a laptop you'd be proud to show off at any time. It doesn't have all the frilly, weird 50s features that some of these crazy no. gaming laptops do. I've this is a subtle, beautiful, well-designed uh, laptop that I think really looks I like having the great. speakers on the top next to the keyboard pointing like at you where yeah. you can actually hear it pretty yeah. well. Front-firing stereo that's way speakers. better than my notebook. Uh, it has TPM's 2.0 security, so you know you get good encryption if you're. It's Windows 10, obviously. Uh, AC Wi-Fi, Bluetooth 5. What other specs can I tell you? It is not a super great webcam 720p. Who cares? Mm. You know, Put Skype. You don't buy this for anyway. Skype, right? 80 watt hour lithium ion battery with Nvidia Optimus support. All of that goes to making it be at, at least usable on battery. But again, if if you're a if you're a gamer. Battery is not the most important thing. I should probably turn this all the way up to maximum. It will easily <laughs> handle all the maximum settings on this, all the anti-aliasing you want, because this is the 1070 version of the GTX. It's going to do that. Wow. Isn't that fun? I love this game. I know it's an old game, but this is the first game I've oh, played in a lot. If you've never played the first one, that's a must-play. you got to play all of them, right? One of the so, must-play games out there. So... Uh, I wonder if I should go back and do the uh, the high quality video. I think the options. beauty too of having discrete graphics like a 1060 or a 1070 in this case from Nvidia is the fact that you can go right to their website and download the latest drivers. You think about how it was five ten years ago, where whatever driver was built into that notebook when it shipped was all it will ever get. And this this is just nice in terms of being able to stay compatible, stay updated with the latest performance updates. 
They say that each display is color calibrated out of the box. Very That's nice. something Apple's always done, but it's rare in a PC uh, laptop. That means if, and I think they're aiming this at creators as well. There is a, a 4K higher resolution display with 10-point oh. touch that's really more for video editors and photographers. So with a calibrated display, they are aiming this at more than just uh, gamers. They're aiming it at the creative professionals Think as well. Think about how much uh, video rendering and editing in general can tax a system. And having, having a quote-unquote gaming system is exactly what you want. Now, remember uh, that Sherlyn was talking about a water-cooled Note 9. This is not water-cooled. It is vapor-cooled, but it is does have an active cooling uh, solution, vapor chamber cooling, uh, high performance, low noise fans push air across the dual heat exchanges to keep it fairly cool. And I have to say, you're using the FLIR on this thing. Does it look hot at all to you, Jerry? Do you, what are the hot spots on here? Not, it's, yeah, I mean, the hot spot's the screen. Well, and me. <laughs> but I don't see, and let's look at the bottom of it. I, I don't see a lot of heat on this thing. And do you hear really audible fans? I don't. And I think that's one of the things you want. That's 160 degrees on the bottom here, according to our FLIR camera. That's relatively quiet. But it is very quiet. So this thing is working. Edge lit, apparently from the bottom. When you were looking at it with the FLIR, you can tell on the screen itself, the main glow. Oh, you're so smart. Look at that. So the fact that this is completely glowing all the way around. Oh, now well, the just at the bottom, you can kind of see. There it is. Right that's there. probably edge lit along the bottom and then reflected as such to make the whole screen light up. Wait, what are you doing? It's getting hotter and hotter and hotter. <laughs> are you Scaling. doing anything on the flare? All right. Well, I guess as the game uh, begins, doesn't that look nice? Wouldn't you be proud to be bringing that to your next LAN party? This oh, is yes. the razor blade. Now, the pricing varies, of course, in how you spec this out. Starts at eighteen ninety nine. You could get it all the way up to twenty eight ninety nine if you put the four K display on it with a touch screen. If you put the ten seventy in it, thirty two gigs of RAM. It doesn't have the giant hard drives that the Apples do. It stops at five twelve own, gigs. Throw four Who terabytes cares? in there later. If you it want is to. NVMe PCIe. It's oh, a nice. M dot two SSD, so it's very fast. Um, let's External see. graphics card support. Oh, isn't that interesting? Yes, because. Remember that the Razer folks also make the Razer Core uh, X, which is an eGPU. So if you really did want to use this on a desktop and you were willing to spend a little more, the eGPU is only $300 for the enclosure, then obviously you'd have to get a 1080 Ti or something to put in it. The but you CPU could absolutely in there beef is going to be up. fine for most games going forward for at least a few years. But if you did want a graphics you've update a, you've a, without you've having to buy a whole new notebook, you got a hardware path. Yeah. Uh, it's got a full... Now, they're really paying attention to the kinds of screens. This makes a lot of sense. Gamers may hook it up to. You could get up to three more screens on here for a total of four. Full-size HDMI. That's a mini display port. It's got three USB connectors. It's got Thunderbolts uh, as well, Thunderbolt 3. So you could have one, two, three more 4K screens coming off of this. Perfect. Of course, you've got enough GPU to do it. Here's the other, on the other side, the other... Uh, Thunderbolt 3 ports, and yes, a headphone jack, just like the Note 9. <laughs> That's that solid <laughs> aluminum build. Doesn't That's that feel really, good? Yes. Yeah. It, so it, I think we really like this. If you're looking for a ex relatively expensive, not Apple expensive, but relatively no, expensive but laptop. There's that, a serious amount of technology in there, yeah, though, that you know, feels good. Sure, you could build a desktop system, similar performance, yeah. but cheaper, but this gets it in a form factor that's, what, half an inch thick? Maybe, exactly. a, maybe a little bit more. I think it's pretty nice. I think it's pretty sweet. I have friends who are way into gaming notebooks because that's just their preferred. Right. They want to be able to move that gaming system around easily and still enjoy PC gaming. And I know they are eyeballing this notebook. Should we go, should we go for a, a little uh, row? Sail into the Time lighthouse. To go, time to go to the lighthouse. And then it all goes sideways. I stupidly set this up for 1999 mode, which is a new mode in the, this is the uh, new remaster. You might version. have to go back and check this out. <laughs> it's a great. It's been a while. Yeah. 1999 mode is basically unplayable mode. <laughs> okay. <laughs> At least for me. Uh, we will next week, that, by the way, that's the Razer Blade 15.6-inch. Uh, they call it the world's smallest gaming laptop. It's pretty darn nice. Glorious. We will have the eGPU. Actually, we have it in-house, the Razer Core X. And I'm going to try that with this next week, and I will try it with the Mac, mm. the i9 Mac, if we can figure out how to get the NVIDIA drivers working. That should be interesting.